What's up, everybody? This is Whiskey in the Six. I'm Rob doing a Patreon request by my friend Sasha. This is the Benaromic Kiln Dried. Of course, I pick up the air dried first versus air dried. Uh, so, kiln dried, air dried, both 46%. They are both part of the contrast series. Okay, and this one's really cool because kiln dried just means that they heated the wood to dry it, then they used it for the barrel. Both of these are virgin oak. Uh, the air dry takes a little bit longer. I believe it takes about a year to air out these barrels uh, in the Scottish climate, if I'm not mistaken. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I heard that story from somebody. Uh, so a little bit of uh, maybe broken telephone there, but air dried on my right hand side here and that's they're saying about a year to dry these barrels before putting whiskey inside of them. Um, both of these are a cool experiment. They're gonna nose them, taste them, and give it a mark. Okay, starting over here on the right hand side with the air dried. Some nice like orange kind of notes. Citrusy for sure. Something like powdered sugar like. A little bit of smoke, but not much. Not much smoke at all. Sweet, sweet on the nose. Um, it's funny because as soon as I say sweet, I look down and I see it saying sweet vanilla fudge aroma, citrus blossom, fresh peppermint and oak. I get the citrus, uh, maybe not citrus blossom, but I get citrus for sure. I don't know if I get fudge, but I do get, yeah, you know what? It's a creamy vanilla for sure. And it is sweet. Very nice nose. Okay, over here on the left hand side with the kiln dried. Very similar. Maybe a touch more muted. These have been open for quite some time. I owe my buddy James uh, gratitude for these two bottles. He sent um, just under halfway, I think, to do the review. Actually, really nice nose here. I'm gonna say a little bit more on the chocolate brown sugar side. I know those two are two completely different notes, but I'm getting a little bit of both of those things. There's this like popular Asian drink now, uh, when you go get like boba teas, uh, it's brown sugar tea or brown sugar milk or something like that. It's kind of what I'm getting here. I love those things, by the way, boba teas. I know that uh, they're not always popular with everybody, but I'm a big fan. I think I give the slight edge to the air dried. Um, it's a little bit more fruit forward, whereas the kiln dried is a little bit more sugar driven, which I guess is to be expected considering um, when you bake something, bake the woods, you get the those like, sugary kind of flavors out of the wood uh common in bourbon obviously okay on the palate <clears throat> yeah that's nice um definitely getting that floral note on the palate more so than on the nose and i do get the citrus so now the citrus blossom kind of makes sense um nice not overly sweet but there is some sweetness these are both um i think just over 10 years old uh no older than 11 years old it says distilled 2012 it says 10 years old actually right on the on the box yeah, both of these are 10 years old. Distilled in 2012, bottled in 2023. You know what? I really like that. And for under a hundred bucks, I think these are great go-tos. I think people that are buying your like run-of-the-mill Glenlivets and run-of-the-mill, uh, you know, Highland Parks, I think you need to start moving towards stuff like this because they're crowd pleasers. They got a little bit of smoke, so more in line with like a Highland Park, I would say. Um, 
higher ABV, 46%, no chill filtration, no color added, and a more pure product. These contrasts are well priced as well. I'm gonna give this one an 86. I think that's really good. I would buy that again, um, 85, 86. Uh, I definitely would buy it again for the price. It's, it's, it's well priced for sure. Over here to the kiln dried. The nose is a touch more muted on the kiln dried than the air dried. A little bit more rich on the palate. Uh, you're gonna get a little bit more sugar. There is some fruit in there. Maybe more on like the apple kind of side of things. Orchard fruit, let's see. It says sweet malted biscuits, okay. Uh, lemon and apple, barley sugar and tropical fruit. I don't know if I get the tropical fruit part. But I think the palette maybe delivers a little bit more on the kiln dried versus the air dried. I think they're both good. I think the nose is a little bit better on the air dried. So for that reason, I probably have to give them the same mark. 85, 86, both are very good. Both are worth buying again. Um, if you can get them under a hundred bucks in most places they're around 90 bucks um, Which is a great price in my opinion 80 bucks. I've seen them as low as uh, 75 bucks, so um, All these are great and you guys really need to get your hands on some of the contrast if you haven't already uh, Thank you so much for the patreon requ request and if you guys are interested in requesting bottles that I have on my right hand side over here for review uh, you can join Patreon for as little as $1. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. And check out Into the AM if you haven't already. Um, I have the link below that gives you 10% off your first purchase. Cheers.